call is now being recorded. Yeah, it's being recorded. Okay, let's start. So, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming in this early. I really appreciate students coming in this early, even 15 minutes before the time you enter the class. You don't know how happy I am when I see this behavior. It is something that we highly encourage. Kaya kayong lahat, 42 students, welcome and thank you sa ating organization and management class. Okay? And... Uh, Ars Axel, uh, mute mo muna yung microphone mo, naririnig ko. Uh, yun. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Billy Abbas. So let's just admit this. Right here. Okay, so organization and management, this is our subject for at least 30 to 45 minutes. We'll do this quickly, and I'm going to ensure that you will learn something this afternoon. The important thing is, you know, ang maganda sa organization and management ay yung yung principles na apply mo agad sa araw-araw natin buhay. Hindi natin man na mamalayan class, we, do, we are not aware that we are actually managers in our own fields, at home, with our friends, with our barcada, when we go out, when we ride the jeep, the tricycle, we practice organization and management. Kaya nga, this subject is one of, it's like a subject that everybody needs to go through in order for us to really see the principles behind why people behave this way. So let's proceed. I welcome everybody from grade 11 and grade 12 mix joining this class again. For the record, I just like to say that this will be credited as one activity in your output. So hindi sayang oras no. And those who already have complete outputs will increase the level average of their grade. Since this is the last class for first quarter, we really value your attendance, okay? So let's proceed. Let me ask you this question first so that we will be on the same page. How was your educational experience during the first quarter of the academic year with the pandemic still around. Nakalain yung class. Magto two years na yung pandemic, no? Para tayong mga ano, naghihintay ng Pasko. Pero nakaraos tayo. I am so happy everybody's safe. Okay? But in terms of the education side, okay, kumusta naman yung first quarter ng pangalawang trahedya sa Pilipinas, di ba? Meron ta na, na tayong last year sa pandemic class. We had that last year, the pandemic. And then we survived. Grade 10 kayo, yung iba grade 11. You hear bad, but it, it's a bit rough, right? I understand that. Everybody went like chaos during this time because it is something new and it prevented us from what? From going out, from being free. Lalo na ako, ang yung teacher, galang tao ito eh. Dapat December, nasa Bohol na ako. Tapos January, bago matapos sa December, nasa Cebu na ako. Talagang gala ako. Noong nagka-pandemic, talagang natipid ako sa gala. Kahit gusto, pwede ako lumabas, hindi ako lumabas. Ayaw pang mamatay eh. So, it really affect me, affected me personally. But let's go to the education side. Both sides, the teacher, the department, students, and parents were affected by this pandemic and you can see the trend in behavior based on the performance okay so i'll ask you this second leg of the school year yeah and last second leg of the school year at matatapos na yung first quarter were you able to adapt gusto kong marinig si wesley si wesley favorite ko to eh wesley buhay ka pa dyan nandyan ka patingin nga ayan wesley Good afternoon, Kumusta sir. Kumusta yung pandemic? Hi, good afternoon. Kumusta yung pandemic para sa'yo? First quarter, were you, what was your experience? Mm, okay lang po naman, sir. Unlike, okay. the, unlike Mukha, last year. Uh -uh. La, oh, sige, can you tell me about it? Just a few words or a few paragraphs, 300 words. <laughs> what, what happened to last year and what made it different this year? Um, ngayon po kasi, um, 
Napakaiba po ng, kasi po as, as a transfer student po, parang mas napadali po ako ngayon kesa po last year. Kasi po dati, punta pa po ng school para magpasa module. But now sir, meron na po ng Google Classroom na ta- tinatawag po natin na kung saan pwede po tayo doon magpas sir. Ah, tama, tama. Oo, oo. You know, I'm really happy, Wesley, you shared that idea that uh, it made it you took advantage of it thank you so much okay thank you sir th- you're welcome thank you for sharing gusto ko marinig si jenny si jenny favorite ko yung ate niya eh, nung grade 12 siya jenny nandiyan ka jenny good afternoon po sir hi good afternoon hey, good afternoon musta i'm fine sir uh, Ay, si para on pala to. Ay, si oh, para on pala to. Oh, Jenny para on musta. Okay lang po, sir. Okay. So, okay. Si, Jenny so pala, si Jenny pala ay isang transferi. Apo. Tapos, tapos nag-adapt siya, she was able complete to complete the, the formats. Formats, all of the formats. Can you share your experience? Can you share your experience, Jenny? Um Okay, uh, mas okay po ngayon sir kasi mas mapadali yung pag-aaral ko sir kasi na, na like for example for me sir na may anak ako sir kahit sa bahay lang ako mag-aaral makaka matapos ko yung grade 12 ko po na second sem sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Can you mute your microphone? Ah, uh, Jenny. Hello. Thank you. Okay, nag-echo tayo. Siguro naka-loudspeaker. Pinapakinggan yata ako, Jenny, sa buong bayan, no? <laughs> De joke lang. Okay, so, para kay Jenny, she is a, a mom, and she was able, Jerwin, okay, she was able to adapt. Go ahead, Jerwin, please share. Thank you for raising your hand. Mr. Timbol? Ay, nakamute ka, anak. Tayo natin si Jerwin. Nag-class ng kamay si Jerwin. Napindot ko lang siya. Ah, natupindot. Okay. <laughs> At least <laughs> yan. <laughs> That's okay. At least yan ang napindot mo. Baka nung napindot mo. <laughs> okay. Napa. So, aside from, who wants to share before we proceed to uh, the evaluation or sharing, ending the sharing? Sino pang gustong mag-share ng academic Quart, first quarter experience. Gusto ko yung medyo ano, kasi I'm so happy si Wesley, si Jenny, I, they, the, the first academic quarter from compared to the previous academic quarter, uh, they were able to adapt and they were able to appreciate the new setup. Okay, that's good. That's adaptation. That's being part of uh, a dynamic person. Okay, and it's not also bad if you would say that Medyo nahihirapan tayo sa mga process or procedure kasi we are in the learning curve. Okay? But don't forget the ability of each student would be different from each situation. But I definitely guarantee you there is what we call a standard uh, skill set. Okay, class? Do not forget each and every one of us has to have that minimum standard of skill. When we say minimum standard of skill, let's go to the slide. We were able to do feedback on week one to four. Okay? And on that content, if you're going to revisit that video, we talked about the ads. Yeah, the ads, no? Marami nakagawa ng magaganda, and marami din nakagawa ng yung tinatawag na standard lang. Okay? We also talked about interviews job interviews technically this has to be during face to face and job interview teacher at student uupo siya it's in a business setting yun ang orgman talaga yun ang setup originally kaso bawal yung face to face so sabi hindi tayo pwedeng magkita so what we did is we recorded and pretended we are on a job interview and surprisingly a lot of you really follow the required basic standard, the proper attire. That's, alam niyo class, mahalaga yung proper attire. 
it projects impression on how you respect the work or the job itself. Then the vocabulary and how you understand the business. Just a tip, kasi naging recruiter ako for five years sa isang malaking company. So ang, ang trabaho ng technical recruiter ay we assess how the applicants answer the questions and how they react to certain cases we bring out to them. Sitwasyon. Halimbawa, nung minsan nag-interview ako, yung in-interview ko nasa Cebu. So Skype ang ginamit namin. Tapos, isa sa mga situation na tinanong ko, kasi depende sa level ng trabaho ko, manager, supervisor, or rank and file. So, ang ina niya sa gitna. So, sabi ko, what if nakakita ka ng 1,000 pesos sa ilalim ng station mo? Alam mo hindi sa'yo. Ano ang gagawin mo? Diba? So, yan makikita namin through the series of questions kung ano talagang uri o moralidad yung tao. Kaya namin yon class. I'm telling you, recruiters are trained to. Okay, alam natin, lagi natin sinasabi, we do not judge the book by its cover. Kaya nga napakaganda yung management subject, eh, yung entrepreneurial subject. You are gonna be trained to judge the book not by its cover, but behavioral actions and the way they answer questions. So we ask questions, we do follow-up questions, and then yung evaluation natin, we can for certain tell if that person is dishonest or honest. You see? So it's about recruiting, staffing, putting the right people in. So during job interview, do not be surprised, nun nag-apply ako sa SM, no? As a manager, isa sa limang, limang interview yan eh, iba-iba. Yung pangatlong interview ay yung mag-interview sinisigawan ka. So, nung bata pa ako, bata pa ako nun eh, sabi ko, ay ganito yung magiging boss ko, sinisigawan ako. Kayong pala, part nun, nung after naging recruiter na ako, nalaman ko yung strategy ng SM, part nun ay they are testing your stress level. Kasi at the end of interview, sasabi na, anong ginagawa mo? Sasabi na ng interview sa akin, no? Tapos at the end, mabait siya. Okay? It was a test pala, stress level. Kasi yung ina-apply ko manager position is highly stressful. So kung ikaw recruiter, ay pikon ka. You know, pikon. At hindi ka marunong mag-analyze noon. Ako, bata ako, hindi ko alam. Iyang sungit noon. It is part of the recruitment process. Ang pinakahuling interview ko, pumasa ako doon eh. Tinawagan ako para mag-work pero tinanggihan ko. Kasi tinawag ako sa isang company na mas mataas ang sweldo. Yes, go ahead. Um, Jelin o Quinn, you, have a, you, can, you can share while I'm speaking. Sir, sir nabindot lang ko. Sorry. Ah, okay. Thank you, Jelin. So, yung last interview naman, share ko lang ito sa job interview, ay... Alam mo, meron yung pinaka-vice president ng SM. Nandun siya. Mapangagwapong tao. Nakalmuta ko yung last name niya. Tagal na nun, bata pa ako. Meron siyang katabing babae. Hindi siya kumikibo. Hindi siya nagtatanong. Yung lalaki, yung vice president, siya yung nagtatanong. Pero they were not difficult questions. Yun palang last interview. Kasi Chinese company to. Yung talagang nag screen yung babae, hindi yung lalaki. Alam mo anong gina tinitignan ng babae? Yung hugis na mukha ko, yung hugis ng mata ko, paano ko, hugis ng ilong ko, bibig, paano ako nagsasalita, at yung tindig ko. Feng Shui pala. It's a Chinese tradition. So, minumukha din. <laughs> I know you don't believe me, pero it's true. Minumukha nila yung itsura mo kung swerte ka doon sa department. Alam mo yon. So, tignan nyo, different types of job interviews, behavior. Okay? So, we went through that. Imagine that, yung last part ng interview, titignan pala yung tabas na mukha mo kung pwede ka, magigbibigay ka pa ng pera sa business. It has something to do with luck. Sa bagay, di ba, sabi nga ng marami, Prayer, sipag, at swerte. 
tatlong combination yan. Kasi kahit sobrang sipag ka, pag tinamaan ka ng malas, eh, mag-pray ka. You see? So that's job interview. Now, we also talked about resume. Ito class resume, isa lang ang principle sa resume. Dapat malinis, truthful yung nakalagay, at yung picture nyo formal. Okay? Hindi siya pang model o swimwear. Yun lang basic principle. And you eliminate NA. Sa government application forms, laging NA pag non-applicable kasi required yun. Pero if you're submitting your personal resume, if it's not applicable, do not put it so that you will not you we will not treat the recruiter will not see any 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 you have to remove that if it's a personal format resume okay and finally yung boss we talked about behavior this one is self analysis syempre iba yung if you heard about the johari window ano pananaw ng tao sa yo ano pananaw mo sa sarili mo, apat yan eh. At ano ang pananaw mo sa pananaw ng ibang tao sa'yo? At anong pananaw mo sa pananaw ng ibang tao sa'yo? Something like that. So we did some self-assessment. And the last one, the pinaka-top of it all is how do you upload files? Okay? So this is something to do with the experiences we have during the first quarter of our academic year. Now, everybody, we analyze ourselves first. We analyze ourselves. Isipin natin, did we level up the skills? Isipin natin, did we improve? Did we improve the level of understanding? The level, yung bang skills natin, hindi na siya pang junior skills, pang senior high school skills na, at yung iba sa inyo, surprisingly, pang college level skills. So, congratulations. So, those are the things we have to consider in proceeding with the next quarter. Okay? Objectives. Let's go to the objectives class. Can you read, please? Uh, Jelaine, Miss Ogwin, can you read standard, content standard? Content standard. The learner will have a basic understanding of basic concepts and theories of management. Thank you. Uh, let's see who else. Let me check here. Okay, let's do so, a few readings so that my... Uh, uh, there. Let's go to... Uh, Kyla Bautista, can you read performance standard, please? Is Carla still there or she's sleeping? Oh, I saw Rona Malyari. Rona, can you please read performance standard? Mara Marine lang ka dyan. Ako Marine, mamasa kayo mo. Ayan yan, Wesley, go ahead, Wesley. Performance standards. The learner shall be able to apply management theories and concepts in solving business cases. Yeah, thank you. What about learning competencies? Any volunteer? Ay, nandito si Mark. Mark, bawi tayo. Pwede mong basahin yung learning competencies, please? Sana ma-under yung microphone ni Mark. Oh, Kyla. Okay. Kyla is here. Go ahead, Kyla. Lilista ko lang yung magpa-participate. Sige, Kyla. You can read competencies or, yeah, learning competencies. Learning competencies. The learners discuss the meaning and functions of management ABM. Thank you. And the last one, who wants to read the last one?
Yung last one, sino gusto mag-read? Sulat ko lang yung mga nag-participate. Oh, good. Okay. So we have Kyla, Wesley, Jenny, Angeline, or done. And the last one, can you please read? Pili nga tayo. Oh, sige. Me, Ta sir. Carmeli, go Me, ahead. Sir. Content, chapter one. Nature and concepts of management. Definition and functions of management. Okay. I have a question. So what are these objectives for? Nagtaas ka may siya. Oh, si Arceli. Axel, Axel. Si Billiones. Para saan yung mga objectives, objectives na to? Ayan na, sinusulat ko talaga. So palagay nyo, bakit kailangan natin ng objectives? Axel, go ahead. Para po alam ng student yung gagawin. And yung Perfect. dapat alamin. Tama. Oh, talagang bilyonary ito when the time comes. Si Cayetano. Thank you, Axel. Cayetano, what's your first name? Go ahead, Cayetano. Nakamute ka niya, anak. Hindi kita maririnig. Cayetano? Nakamute siya ka niya. Okay. What else? Why do we need objectives? We'll just get back to Cayetano once uh, her microphone is up and running. I think her microphone is not running. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody else? Okay, let's proceed. So, we need objectives so that we know the direction. The direction on which we want to achieve. So, it says here we're going to talk about concepts, theories of management. And in order for us to understand that, okay, kanina we took examples from top students who shared the ideas regarding the pandemic and the situation of the first grading. How did it help them and did it make their lives better? Let us see key person on how they became successful in the pandemic by understanding their principles. Remember, we're talking about management. So we're talking about something that will strengthen the firm. Okay. Theories. The first one is the famous Henry C. Sabi niya sa isang quote niya bago siya namatay, When I am not big with words, I am big and bold in my dreams and visions. Ano sinasabi ito, class, sa atin bilang students? We have to have what? Something to look forward to. Baga, ano ang pwede natin gawin sa future? What do you want to achieve? Sa ating grade 12, ang initial short term that will affect long term is what? Mag-graduate. Okay? So we want that part. Gusto natin matapos na itong depth ed ladderized system or high school, or basic education. I just want to get out of the basic education because I want a higher education. But before that, we need to graduate. Sabi nga ni Henry C., I dream and I have a vision to achieve. Our dream, our vision, maliban sa depth admission vision, is what? To graduate. Yun isa ay Citibank, isa sa mga stable banks. Sabi niya, to remain relevant, learn from the past, live in the present with an eye on the future. Gusto kong gamitin yung isang word class. Relevant. Pag sinabing relevant ka, nakaka-apekto ka ng positibo sa community mo, sa classmates mo, sa school. Meaning, people look up to you because you are what? You are something that they can, someone that they can follow. You have an impact on other people's lives. Anong key to success, to survive the pandemic? We are what? Influencers of the positive and in, of 
something better. Okay? Yung una, may goal ka. Yung pangalawa, we have to be relevant. Meaning, yung pagkatao natin, yung ginagawa natin, yun, mga decision natin, it what? It affects our classmates positively. Masipag ka, tapos pupunta ka ng kaklase mo, saan mo nakukuha yung energy mo sa sipag mo? You are relevant in his life. Meron kang impact. Isa pa, si Bega World, oh, this a big casinos, big corporation. Sabi doon, through the years, okay, as my group of companies expanded, I stuck to my success. Ito, kaya kumuha ko ng salamin eh. Yan. Success formula of hard work and luck to stay ahead of the pack, etc. Okay? So sabi doon, meron siyang keyword na last sentence. It has been a constant process of moving forward no matter what. Anong lesson doon, class? Sa palagay nyo, bilang, si, bilang teacher Jotam, ano yung word na pupulutan, na, pupulutan niya sa sinabi ni Tan, Dr. Tan? Alam niyo ano? Ito yung solusyon niyo, class. In order for you to survive the second quarter and graduate, finish the second semester. It is what? The understanding that there is a constant process. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin ng constant process, class? Okay, ito, ito. Positive tayo, no? Tignan nyo yung mga buhay natin as a student. Okay? Lagi ba natin sinasabi matatapos din ito? Ang kahirapan na to ay it will just, it is just this first part. But I would like to tell you the truth, class. No? <clears throat> This part will just be another part of another part of another step. In other words, the reality, kasi alam nyo, noong nag-aaral ako sa college, uh, nag-aaral uh, <coughs> nag ako sa isang international university sa Cavite. At isa sa mga tinuro sa amin, noong kumuha ko ng master's degree units, isa sa mga tinuro sa akin, we tell the truth to the people when we teach, when we share knowledge. We do not tell them the temporary truth. We tell them what is the reality so that we can strengthen them. Okay, Adventist University of the Philippines, if you have an opportunity to study there, I highly recommend it there. Kaya alam, medyo mahal lang. Tapos nasa taas ka ng mundok sa Cavite. You know, travel ako noon every day. Six hours yung biyay ko, Angeles hanggang doon. Paminsan, eight hours, traffic, daan ang Laguna, daan ang uh, etc. So, <clears throat> sabi doon, when we teach, we teach reality. Okay. So, sab sa kung gano'n ang prinsipyo ko, kasi yun ang natutunan ko doon sa school ko, paano ko sabihin sa inyo yung kahirapan ay i-extend natin? Okay, ganito kasi yan, class. Pag nandito tayo sa earth na to, challenges will always be there. Totoo yan. Difficulties will always be there. Tapos sasabihin mo, class sa akin, Sir, ang hirap naman, suko na ako. As, <clears throat> pag ngayon tayo sumuko, susuko, sabihin ko sa tapat sa inyo, habang buhay kayong sumusuko. Pag habang buhay kayong sumusuko, anong ibig sabihin, class? hindi ka na aalis sa kinalalagyan mo. We have to accept the fact na nabubuhay tayo sa mundong ito, marami sitwasyon na talagang difficult lagi. Kaya nga sabi, yun ang totoo, ayaw kong ma-discourage kayo o kaya sabihin, oh, after first grading, oh, tama may second step. Tapusin yung first step. Pero ang tanong, mas madali ba yung second grading? The challenges will always be there, class. Kaya nga sabi niya, ni Tan, sabi doon, it is a constant process. It is hard work. He, he wasn't in that position because he was he, a person who gives up. No. Itong tatlong unang taong pinag-uusapan natin, they're giving us what? Actually, sa totoo lang, wala dapat sila sa pakilam sa atin eh. 
Pero sineshare nila yung secret nila para maging successful. At realidad ang sinasabi ni Dr. Tan na it is a constant process and it is hard work. Yun din ang tinuro sa akin nung nag-aaral ako. Reality is, if you don't adapt, if you don't develop the skills to overcome these challenges, you will always be in a challenge position, not in a successful position. So yun ang realidad. Kaya nga, class, ngayon, you are fortunate. Kayong 47 nandito, I pre-prepare yun ang sarili ko. Okay. So sabi ni Sir Jotam, compared sa ibang tao, sabi ng ibang tao, oh, after that, madali na lang. Sabi ni Sir Jotam, meron pang isang bundok. After ng isang bundok, meron pa sang isang bundok. After that, meron pa. Kailan ako magpapahinga? Alam niyo, class, kailan nagpapahinga ang tao sa challenges? Pag na-master niya yung challenge. Parang hindi na siya challenge. Okay? So think about that. We're gonna dwell on that on a different topic. Meron pang four management. We're just talking about one aspect. And the fourth one is, ito. It's related. Okay? If you can see it to the screen, I'll just get the keywords. Opportunities amidst the challenge. Yan, 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 yan. Sabi, sabi, may challenge. Sabi ni Zed, puro challenge, nakakaiyak. Zed, maman, challenge na challenge. Masakit na yung ulo ko, puyat na ako and everything. Meron sapik dyan sa organization management. Pero hindi ngayon. We're gonna crack the secret to success to that. Pero sabi dito, sino to? Yung may-ari na China Bank. Okay, China Bank. Sabi doon ay, you look at the opportunities sa challenge. Sa challenges. You look at the blessings in the challenges. Okay? So, tignan mo yon. Sabi niya, oh, mahirap. Pero meron pa rin maganda dyan sa kahirapan. Tama nga naman, di ba? Parang ngayon, sabi, mas madaling face-to-face, -face, yung online mahirap and everything. Pero marami sa inyo ay nagtagumpay sa mahirap na internet class at mahirap na pagpas na online at yung link, yung Google Classroom. Question is, they were able to succeed. They shine amidst the challenge. Okay? Yan ang sinasabi. They saw the blessing. Uy! Pag hindi online, pag hindi face-to-face, -face, makakatrabaho ako. Uy! Pag hindi face-to-face, -face, pwede ako mag-pass kahit anong oras within the day. Hindi gaya ng face-to-face, -face, pag 10 to 12 ang klase mo, may quiz kang 10, hindi mo pwede move yun. Mag-quiz ka. Brain crackling. Pero dahil online, may, mayroon uh, activity, pwede mo ipas sa gabi yan o yung deadline next week. Those are opportunities amid the challenges. And the last one, uh, it's quite small, but it says there, let me get my eyeglasses. <clears throat> I think you've got to have something you truly believe in. I would like to stop there. Isa sa mga dapat nung unawain, do you believe? Do you believe you can do it? We'll stop there. If you do not believe you can do it, then you already lost the battle. There is such a thing as positivity, attracting positiveness. Totoo na meron delusional na tao na kaya ko to, pero hindi niya kaya. Kaya kong tumakbo ng uh, 50 kilometers, pero putol yung isang paa. Okay? There are certain skills, circumstances, pwede yan, pero hindi. The thing about is, believe in that goal, in that ability to achieve, and it will change the situation. Okay, it's now your turn. Tapos na ako magsalita. Malapit na tayong matapos. So, let's share your thoughts. Okay, mabilisan. Mamaya ng theories. Life application approach. Can you tell me the experience you had when you enrolled in Krilis? Diba? Noong face-to-face man yan or noon, hindi face-to-face. -face. Online, pag-enroll. Ano ang na-experience nyo? Just two students, okay? Pwede akong pumili para naman ibang faces. Sandali. Gusto kong marinig si Joanna Rivera. A practical question. There are no wrong answers and you can answer in Tagalog. 
I want to hear Joanna Rivera. Joanna Rivera, are you there? Uh, is your microphone up and running? Good afternoon, po, sir. Hi, good afternoon, Joanna. So, can you tell me, a pra can you answer this practical question? Ano yung unforgettable experience mo? It can, it can be positive or negative. Don't be shy. Okay, so pag enroll mo sa Grillis. Go ahead. Ano po, nag build up po ako online, then a week, a week po, wala po nagte-text. So, pumunta pa po ako sa school para i-confirm kung naka-enroll na po ako. Ay, Medyo okay. nahirapan po. Oo, oh, 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 oh. ay, marami tayong na-experience again. Thank you for being honest. That's key oh. ingredient in our discussion. So, oh, walang nag-text, okay? Oh, That's okay. Thank you. Nandito Thank si you, Tom. po. <laughs> okay. One more. Uh, okay lang pipili ako. Yung mga... Uh, ito. Medyo maanghang ito. Kaparas. Hindi, <laughs> joke. Si Mar Maril Marilu. Okay. Nandiyan ka, Marilu? Umaandar ba yung microphone mo? Tama. Marilu Kaparas. Let's just pick two for the moment. <clears throat> Baka hindi umaandar yung microphone niya. Let's see. Isa pang maanghang. Si Crazy Paras. Yung kanina, mas maanghang Kaparas. Ito naman, konting anghang. Crazy, maandar yung microphone mo. Baka hindi rin. Or delayed siya. Let's give five seconds. Baka late lang dumating yung voice ko. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Wala. Sinong volunteer while I'm looking for somebody here? Ay, voice naman. At konti ng voice, no, sa gas. JR. JR na dyan ka. Parang total silence, no? Ah, ito, ito. Ito yung ate niya, kilala ko. Si Abadis. Jennifer. Abadis. Wala kang choice. Sinulat ko na yung pangalan mo. Ay, nag-chat siya. Okay, CBI. Nabingin ko pa tayo yung sinabi. Si Kurt Eisen yan. Kurt Eisen. Si Mark mo na na. Si Mark. Mark? Mark? Pilya pa niya? Uy, gawin. Ano? Or narinig ko yun. Mark? Sinabutay siya. O, Mark, sagot ka. May tanong ako. Okay. Mark Jonel Villapanya. Sir, ano po yan? Magulo po kasi yung ano namin eh. Okay lang, okay lang. Oo nga, narinig ko yan. So, nahirapan ka pa sa pag-enroll sa Grillis? Hindi naman po. Pwede mong i-share kahit konti. Anong experience mo? Actually, sir, yung pag-enroll po sa Grillis, hindi naman po ganun kahirap kasi accessible naman po kasi yung mga Google Forms na binigay nila. Okay. Wow. That's thank you, thank you, Mark. Okay, so we have two valuable answers. Okay, from Joanna Rivera, which is factual. That's the truth. And also, Mark Junel Villapanya, which neutralized the situation. Okay, naman daw. Now the question is, why did I ask this this particular or bring up this situation or this particular scenario? It has something to do with our key topic, which is what? Staffing. Okay? I'm not saying this is happening, but based on the principles of management and the particular topic is staffing, okay, there are certain things. That's why situations become difficult and situations become easier. It is because of the people behind the system. And the people behind the system are what we call the staff. Okay? So we will run through the lecture because I discussed this on previous videos. And you can review the videos. But staffing has something to do with people 
it develops, it uses the resources, and it has process. In order to expound that, we're going to define them in these terms. The nature of staffing. Nature of staffing is a management process. Meaning, mga boss ninyo ay sila yung nag-iisip or they are determining who to hire, what type of people to hire, okay, and what type of job or work they are going to do. Kaya nga, we're studying staffing because kung hindi magaling ang proseso ng management, doon pumapasok yung sitwasyon ni Joanna Rivera. Walang tumatawag sa kanya or nag-ihintay siya kung hindi pa siya tumawag, hindi niya malalaman saan siya. Ay buti nga si Joanna masipag at nag-follow up at naintindihan niya yung system. Pag sobrang galing yung management system at process, Real talk tayo, okay? Because sabi nga ng dating school ko, we have to talk reality to the students when we teach. When we have good set of managers, what happens? My experience natin lagi yung experience ni Mark John, Jonel Villapan. Na maayos, hindi magulo, at mayroon tamang sistema, proseso, kung paano tayo nag-enroll. You see? See how important that is? Why do we need to learn this? Because on a consumer side, on a student side, now you know, okay, it is the situation, not the person itself that needs to be improved the process. Now you know, when you are there, pag nandun ka na nag-work, pag after graduation, nag-work ka na, at nakikita mo puro reklamo, nag-work ka na sa isang fast food chain, nagre-reklamo yung customer, Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, hindi ako nag-graduate ng college. I'm proud na nag-graduate ako ng senior high school kasi alam ko to. It's a management process problem. Then you apply that. How do you get improve it? You see? Now, human resources naman as part of staffing is something to do with what? Ito, trabaho nila on a general scale. Dapat ina yung decision making sa management. Eh. Paano galawin yung ito? Human resources, paano niya? What? Benefits, well, information, dissemination, employee handbook, those things. Paano yung benefits ng tao? Okay. So, hinahandle niya yung itong sitwasyon. And that's part of people staffing. And again, just like what we've shared since the first slide, this is something that happens always continuous okay now just an overview for the next step um we'll just go a little faster we have staffing system which is a retention acquisition and deployment ano to bago to sir sir this is too much english <laughs> okay lang it means that pag staffing system yung sistema ng system meron tinatawag na retention Pag sa Tagalog, ang retention ay ayaw mong umalis yung employee. So, gagawa ka ng paraan para hindi siya mag-resign. Acquisition means that paano ka kukuha ng mga bagong hire na employee. Deployment means pag na-hire sila, paano mo sila i-assign sa bawat department. That's the staff, three major systems ng staffing. And again, they have to be in the correct order or in the, using the right process. Kung hindi, my experience natin yun, experience ni Joanna, sa halip na yung experience ni Mark Janelle. Okay? Okay. So this is the activity that's intended. I'll just uh, send this offline. So here, you're going to do an illustration. Ito. Para lang na-extend yung practice natin. Sandali, papasokin ko lang siya. Okay, you're almost done. So, dito, mag-isip ka ng issue at solution sa acquisition, deployment, and retention. Saan galing ito? Dito. Okay, yan. So, now we're gonna practice it. Okay, through an activity. So, due to constraint of time, we'll just do this uh, offline. But so that you would know what to do. So, we're gonna show, you're gonna show what? An issue... Okay, may gusto pumasok. 
ang issue tapos yung solution. Yung example, sabi ko, sa acquisition, di ba, pag-hire ng tao, pagkuha ng tao, sabi doon, other recruiting agencies do not give qualified skilled employees. Problema nga yan. Alimbawa, gusto ko na mag-hire ng accountant, eh, binigay management graduate. Problema, hindi niya alam yung accounting process. So, anong solution doon? Okay, bilang isang manager, bilang isang student ng organization management, paano may iwasan yung binibigyan ka ng maling tao, yung recruiter? Ito ang suggestion ko. One simple suggestion among others, the firm will provide adequate job description to ensure that the employee or the person being hired, bakit po tol yun, no? ah, yung Excel, ay tama doon sa trabaho. Yan lang. Okay? So we're gonna do that offline. So you're gonna proceed with deployment, retention, and one more example in acquisition. Okay. And finally, I think this is self-explanatory. When we do staffing, this is the models. We look at it, pag nag-hire tayo ng tao, in, in summary, kasi may details din ito. When we hire people, we hire them either long-term or short-term or nag tayo ng merong kapalit or nag tayo yung pinaka-ilalim ay what? A combination. Okay. I'll just give an example so that we could wrap it up. So when you talk about long-term, short-term, hindi ka pwede mag-hire ng tao kung ano, kung what? Kung yung trabaho ay pang six months lang. So you're gonna do contractual. Pag ang, ang uh, op job opening has something to do with pang matagal and permanent, so that's long term. So mag hire ka ng tao, that is for good for long term. Now, paano mo alam na ang tao ay short term for hire or long term? Nasa skills yan, nasa resume papakita niya tapos makikita mo sa si interview. Kaya nga yung umpisa ng lesson natin ng week 2 is resume building. It's because we want to develop the skill in how we put in key competencies sa ating resume. Tinitignan kasi yan eh. So when you hire somebody long term, anong unang tinitignan mo? Employment history. Kung patalon-talon siya sa bawat company, like 3 months lang, lipat na siya sa ibang company, Three months. Do you think you're gonna hire that for long term? Okay. Or, tignan mo yung resume niya kung meron siyang development plan. Yun ang masarap i-hire long term. Like meron siya dun sa resume niya, mahilig siya mag ng seminar o kaya nag-outreach siya o kaya meron siyang community involvement every year. Yun, tinitignan ng recruiter yun. Ng staffing manager. Okay. Kaya nga, bakit, bakit tinitignan yan? Okay. For a last example for this staffing model, galing ako sa industry, right? Sa amin, the last, the first, uh, second to the last company ko, when we hire people, the first month, wala silang gagawin kung hindi training. Okay? So there, we are, we are paying them 18,000 a month full benefits wala silang gagawin kung hindi mag-train. 18,000 yan. I know that kasi I was part of that team. Okay? Now, isipin mo, gaano kahalaga yung prinsipyo ng staffing models? Life application. Kung ikaw yung manager, training manager, at nag ka ng basta-basta, okay? So, after one week, Magre-resign na yung tao. Magre-resign na siya. Anong mangyayari sa company? Okay, ito yung realidad na hindi alam ng mga tao. When we hire people in that company and in several companies of that nature, we pay them 18,000. We give them free lunch. We give them full benef medical benefits. So during that one month na sugat siya, naging free hospital siya. We invest around 30,000 on that person. Alone. Walang ginagawa. That 13,000 is already given out as budget and it will not return. 
Okay. And if the if the employee resigns, did not finish training, that thirteen thousand is gone. Nawala na siya. At pag nawala na yung thirty thousand na yon, lugi yung company. Sino nagkamali don? Yung recruiter hindi niya tinignan o filter maayos yung applicant niya, ne? At basta na lang pumasok siya. Okay? Hindi niya tinignan yung history niya, employment history niya. nag invest yung company free para lang ma-train yung employee tapos aalis siya. So it's gonna be a problem. That's the long-term, short-term part of hiring. Okay? So remember, in every principles, there are certain things that we have to understand. Kaya pala ganito mag yung boss ko. Kaya pala ganito yung process na ini-implement. It is beyond what we see, you know, physically or initially perceived. There is something behind that. Nobody knows we are investing 30000 to each employees. They all know is, ay subukan ta mag-obra ka rin. Ay ako na buri, ay ako bisa. See? So affected na rin going company. Wala nang magagawa yung company pag na nag umalis ka eh. Kaya after that, after a few years, ang ginagawa ng company, nagpapapirma sila sa mga trainee ng band. Pag hindi mo tinapos yung training, magbabayad ka. Kailan kumikita yung company? Di ba one month? Pag na-hire ka at na-approve ng client dyan, doon babayar na yung client ng company. And then everybody's happy. Okay? So in sum up, Let's read one by one the importance of staffing before we wrap it up. Okay? So let's start. Sino gusto mauna? Una, un, pasada lang to. Konti lang ito. So let's start reading. No need to expound. Just read so that there's going to be some sort of retention. Let's begin with, let me check the notes here. Okay, begin tayo sa taas. Can you read the first one? Zion Peña. Are you there? Wow, dumami tayo. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, read number one, please. Importance of staffing. Filling the organizational positions. Okay, number two. Are Andre? Okay, go. May nagtatas ng kamay. Si Andre? Wala. Okay, let's skip Andre. Aquino, Shaina. Hi, Aquino. Hello po, sir. Making possible discovery of able staff for challenges. Okay. I'll just give an, uh, a summary for that. Next is uh, Axel. Axel? Yes, sir. Number three. Guaranteeing at most productivity. Mm -hmm. Number four, Bianca. Okay, Rihanna Shello, go ahead. Developing personnel for sh shouldering greater responsibilities. Thank you. Explain. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> okay, Shello, thank you for voluntary. Uh, volunteering. Who else? Who is raising their hand? Oi, chancho na magka-score dito. Wesley, go ahead. Si Wesley, salamat. Si Wesley. Ay, si Wesley. Ah, si... Go ahead. Meeting. Meeting upcoming recruitments of talented people. Okay. Joanna? Satisfying job always to correct okay. placement. Jenny, go ahead. Ay. Yeah. Number seven Ay. pala. Tapos na po sa yeah. number, number seven, seven pala. <laughs> oh, yan. Number seven. Utilizing <laughs> of human resources most favorably. Favorably, okay. Favorably, okay. Next. 
Ay, Jenny, but mo yung mic mo nagyagyan. Okay, who else? Mute mo yung mic mo nagyagyan. <laughs> Anybody else? There's only three left. Uy, I'm so happy for your participation. Wala na? Ako na yung magbabasa dyan. Bahala kayo. Irish? Oh, si ano? Si ni? Si Zanel. Zanel? Anong last name ni Zanel? Sup Go ahead, Zanel. Supplying ah, si information concer concerning transfer, promotion, recruitment, death, demotions. Okay, demotion. Sayo ko yung demotion. Parang bumaba yung rank ko. Thank you. Who else? We have two more. What? Me, sir. Me, po. Po. Me. Okay, go ahead. Me. Your name? Jenica. Retaining okay, Jenica. professionalism among personnel. Okay, and the last one, that's Jenica Zarina Miklat Miklat. Okay. Building higher. Oh, sino yung isa? Oh, sige, Jenica, tuloy mo na. Building higher. Morale of employees. Okay. That's morale. Thank you. Thank you, Jenica. So, morale has something to do with yung if the employee is happy with his work, hindi siya sad. Yun ang pinaka-elementary definition. So, pag happy yung employee, masipag siya. Pag sad siya, medyo tinatamad. Yun ang moral. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-tinatawag na importance of staffing, feeling the organization positions, all of those things. So, in other words, based on the examples we have given a while ago, you know, pag nag-apply ka sa isang company, at ang dami at pagulo, at least now you know, problema sa staffing yun. Okay? And, siyempre, last questions. Ito, summary, last na to. It, ito, ito yung, sige, ihuli ko na yan. Ito yung example sa mga ibang companies na sinalihan ko. Yan siya. So, uh, during my time, when I was not a teacher, I was the country manager, baga ako yung pinaka-boss sa Pilipinas sa isang malaking firm. Ito siya sa baba, kung nakikita nyo. Philippines Operations Manager, Country Manager. So, meron akong key level manager sa baba. So, ako ay directly kausap ko CEO. Okay? So, lahat ng management process na apply namin yan. No na hire ako diyan just to give a last example the productivity of the company kaya na hire ako kasi yung dating employees nagproproduce sila ng output let's say 20 a day documents yan okay so sabi nung boss sa Australia we need somebody to manage this team so from one company na transfer ako dito pinairate ako to handle operations in the Philippines. And the output really increased by 300%. Okay? Kaya nga, siguro class, napansin nyo, bakit si Sir laging advanced sa lesson? Bakit si Sir na, na modify niya yung buong uh, last, yung module? Bakit nasisimplify niya yung mga curriculum pero na-achieve na yung goal ng competencies? It's because we, we, we were trained during the time, it's called process improvement person. Ito, masakit na trabaho ito. Bakit? So, pumasok ako doon sa company as my last example. Siyempre, pag gusto mong improve yung sitwasyon, marami mga tradisyon na sisirain mo. Like for example, yung isang grupo ng team, kumakain sila ng lunch three hours. Masaya sila. Dumating ako, ginawa kong isang oras. Masakit sa kanila yun. Ah, magagalit sila sa'yo. But you're trying to improve the process, you want to improve the productivity. Tapos, nandyan na yung decision ko na nag-change ng time, time frame. 
Eh, sanay na kami pumapasok ng 10 a.m. Tapos uwi ng late. Ayaw namin magising ng maaga. Eh, based sa science, ang productivity ng tao mas malakas early morning. Kaya pala yung productivity nila mahina ay yung oras nila pagpasok masyadong late na. Pinalitan ko yan, ma-plus na naman. Mimwano na naman. You see? So, those are the things you have to put into consideration. Management decision and all of those things. It is a change that you have to make. Okay? So, finally, sa mga hindi pa nag-participate, I just want to ask a practical question before we end up. Joanna, you are raising your hand. Go ahead. Hello, Joanna. Magiging 99 na yung grade mo. Bahala ka. Napindot <laughs> yung po, sir. Pero oh, okay. sagatin ko. O, oh, sige. O, oh, sige, sige. Na-appreciate ko naman. <laughs> Sagarin na natin yan. Okay. Okay po. How important was the lesson for you so far? Na, uh, sa pag-apply po ng trabaho, malalaman ko po agad kung saan ako nababagay o yung skills ko po. Ganon po. Tama, tama. Okay. So, sinagot niya yung dalawang question ni Joanna. Yun, magagamit niya sa pag-apply sa recruitment. Uh, Rivera, Rivera. Okay, at the same time, yung, o, oh, pag nag-apply siya, ah, ito pala yung gusto ng mga nag-hire. Okay? Pwede tayo magkaroon ng second session para dyan. Tuturo ko kay paano pumasa ng recruitment. Okay, who, who wants to raise their hand again? Ah, yes? Sige, speak lang kayo, tapos entertain ko, then we will close. Sir? Go ahead. Wesley, go ahead. Sir, yung how important is lesson to you? The lesson mm -hmm. to you? Mm -hmm. Sige. Go ahead. Picture ko lang yung um, attendance. Ito pong le itong lesson po na to is advantage na po para sa amin para in case na damating man po yung araw na mag-apply po kami, alam na po namin yung gagawin namin. Tama. Okay. Who else? Thank you, Wesley. Sir, um, ako naman... <laughs> Joyce. Oh, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Yes, sir. Um, Go ahead. Yung nga, sir, sa how... How important is that to you? I uh, mean, this is a big help po sa, lalo na sa mga, ita, talagang interest na ito. Mar marami po silang, um, I mean, uh, matitrain po sila sa lesson na ito. And yung, sa, um, sa, Si question number two is, magamit ba ito sa araw-araw na buhay? Yes, sir. Um, sa pam yung Ay, sa paano, paano po yung personality? Yeah, yung po, yung sa personality, yung kung how, paano ka po magdidili sa bawat, sa mga people na nakakasalamuha mo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Tama, tama. So, at least na naunawaan mo yung ugali nila, yung paano mo sila kausapin o no, tama pagkikitunguhan. Okay, who else? Come on, while I'm, uh, as soon as I end uh, copying the attendance, we will close the class. And thank you for your patience. Uh, sino pa? Ako naman po, sir. Uh, sige, go ahead. Sa first question po, important po siya kasi po, um, marami po akong natutunan na lessons, life lessons po actually. Example po, yung sinabi po nung may ari po ba yun ng China Bank? Basta po si Mr. Ramos. Oh, 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 yun po oh, sa about sa opportunities. Marerelate ko po siya sa buhay-buhay kasi po um, parang no matter how how negative life is, no matter how many problems life throws to us, um, always seek for the positivity. Tama, tama. Alam mo, mahalaga yun. Uh, if you uh, go for like the positive attraction of things, you are gonna be more happy in life. Tama, tama, Zion. Thank you for sharing. Who else? Sir, Sir pwede ko sure, sure. Sino yon? Ah, si Joyce, go about, ahead. Yung sa ano nga, sir? Yung about din sa nasabi ng yon, yung last na nagsalita is yung sa 
talagang positive. Si Zion, si Zion 'yan. Oo. Yung sa mga sin- mga nabanggit na um coach your yun sir um naka- napaka ano 'yon, napaka ting help 'yon to motive, talagang para ma-motivate yung isang tao para sa talagang um, kung paano niya talaga gawin yung staffing na yan, yung talagang job na yan. Na, kaya, sir, yung, pas, yung mas importante, yung positivity talaga, sir, tsaka yung passion mo sa ginagawa mo. Tama, tama. Nakakatouch naman. Okay. So, well, kung wala na nga habol, uh, I'll just send this. We have one more activity, staffing ads and the rubrics. So we practically completed uh, all aspects we need to learn, especially the value in our lesson. And uh, do you have any questions so far? No questions? Wala na po. End the class? Wala na po, okay. sir. Thank you, Ella. Thank you, Ella. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. So, Hello po, so uh, thank you po. Dr. Raji, ay magsasalita ata si Dr. Raji. Okay, okay, okay lang po, okay lang po. Okay lang po sila kumalis, sir. So, so definitely. Also, uh, thank you very much, sir, uh, and to our students uh, in grade 11. Kanina ata yung iba dito, familiar na sila kasi pumasok sila sa class ni, ni Ma'am Irene. So, I'm thankful na mas marami kayo dito sa klase ni Sir Jotam. Siguro talagang very interested yung mga uh, concepts na, um, na na binabato sa inyo or given to you by your teacher, Sir Jotam. You are fortunate to have Sir Jotam because of his, uh, his experience in the uh, business sector. Kasi business education talaga yung sector ni Sir Jotan. So uh, let us uh, let us uh, ano po no um, give him uh, what we call that a virtual clap o kung pwede po po kayong pumalakpak sa inyo pong uh, lugar ngayon uh, palakpakan po natin si Sir Jotan for uh, very good <laughs> Si Jenny, me, talagang ano po, pumalakpak na talagang pati yung sound sir, no? Parang uh, alakas din, no? So thank you very much. So you can now leave the uh, virtual classroom. Thank you, Sir John. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sir. Thank you, Sir. We will have a conversation with Sir John Tam regarding thank you, this lesson. Uh, thank you very much, Po. Oh, I hope to, to see you uh, in another uh, online presentation of your teachers. Uh, po. Thank you very much, Po. Thank you, Sir.